Yep, back out. This time, it's the week after, and he's here. Him again. Him again. The hat's out. Aye, the hat's found the hat. And we've got a new member of the the team. Hello. This is now what he's letting sell in for. Slipping all over here. <laughs> Steve's Wild Camping. Check him out. YouTube videos. Not worth watching because I'm not in any of them yet. <laughs> so, just swerve them. Tin Mug Adventures. Nice. I'm in a few of them, so oh, it might be worth yeah. having a look. But it is all about me. 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 Anyway. We've come to the lakes this week. Quiet part of the lakes. Aye, the quiet part of the lakes. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Uh, there's nobody nobody comes, nobody knows about. Because it's pretty featureless. There's no big massive crags or like recognizable hills, waterfalls, tarns, there's none of that. We're just easing back into it because we're so unfit, doesn't make sense. I've been going out on my bike, doing midweek walks, still knackered like. Anyway, we'll get there, we'll get there. So for now, it's good to be out, it's a beautiful day. Oh, I've come, uh, I've come a canny hike. We've come right down in that valley, all the way up here. A bit windy, like. And then we're going up, up the top of there. But that's not the destination. We're going to push on over that, over another top, and then over another top. So this is one of three summits that we're going to hit. Phew. You know what though, the weather's lovely. There's that lovely breeze. Just keep them cool. Really nice. There's a few people about, but I don't think anybody's camping. Yep. Love it. Oh, the wind, the wind. That's the summit of Little Scarfell. There's the wind coming. Taking a breather. Push on that path there and then onto that one behind it looks further than I think it is like oh that wind is terrible where's that come from supposed to be gentle breeze so much for the gentle breeze it's found by the wind it's found us we have to get out of it over there the views are amazing this is some lake or other some water that's Bass and Thwaite in the distance. This is all the, the Northern Fells. It's Skiddaw there, the big one. Skiddaw Little Man to the left. Ah, oh, it's been a long time since we've been here. That one there is called Binzi. <laughs> I think that's hilarious, that name. Binzi. There we go. Great Scarfell. <laughs> We've been camping here before. I was pitched there. Um, Rob was there, Mark was there. So we're going to go on this path here. It should be alright, it doesn't look that steep onto that one. It's just 720 meters. It's called the Knot or Knot. It's waiting for the old men at the job. Kind of keep up with me now, young and me, like young, 20 years younger. So this is the underwhelming summit of Great Scarfell. <laughs> so after almost four miles, that's the top there. Not the knot, or just not. There's another, there's another knot um, over Pat the Vale there. Uh, over that side. It is not that one. This is what nobody comes to. Let's get all looking massive. Uh, loads of other fells. 
think that's Blencathra. Sharp edge going up the side. My, I think it is. It's got to be. Here we go. Thomas Tilly Hat. Um, the calories, low calorie spray because I'm on a diet, fry light, it's all you need when you're on a diet. I've got me 15 pound salt and pepper and a big cheap B&M's frying pan, just rip the handle off, spat layer, got a wooden spat layer and the beer's S43 and full circle got together collaboration zebra heed that's a west coast iba clairvoyance normal supermarket beer northern monk mangoes on the fifth i had that last week that's in the supermarket again supermarket double hazy brew dog and this one here this is for all you people who get thumbs downs on your youtube videos clear no heed to the drongos and that is a Southern Hemisphere IPA. I had one of them last night and it was lovely. 7.2%. It was really nice. Yeah, but you've got to pay no heed to the Drongos. It's an Australian thing, isn't it? And for the tea tonight, we've got some nice chicken, which I chopped up. Veggies. And peppers and mushrooms. And some red onion. Sweet and sour sauce. Blue dragon again. I love these damn blue dragons. A bit of special fried rice. I'm just gonna hide it all in the pan. Just gonna throw it all in the pan. Get stuck into that. So, I'll just sit here listening to the Skylarks. Giving it six nout. Watching the sun go down over there. It's gonna, I think there's gonna be a nice sunset like. sea looks mad doesn't it from here and the light catching it all right so that's it steve's over there mark's there and i'm here we're in like a, um we're in a close circle because it's going to be really well it's going to be windy so we need somewhere to sit and shelter anyway steve's doing his video now all right so got the got the chicken on I have forgot me bloody pot to grab, didn't I? So I've just got me big glove. That's good enough. I'll cook this chicken up. Tell how much the salt was. Salt was 15 pound. Just thrown half of it on the ground. It's a mixture of salt and pepper. There you go, nice seasoning. Chucked half of it over there. Bloody, that's a Two pound on the floor. So we'll let that. Uh, we'll let that go. We'll brown it off. Actually, I'm a bit paranoid about cooking chicken, so I'll make sure that's properly done thoroughly. And we'll get the veggies in. I like these vegetables have a bit of a crisp on, so they won't take long. All right, so the uh, the chicken's browning off nicely. <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna have to keep your tripod low. Uh, the weight of my power pack holds mine down. Uh, a little bit. I'm talking about night lapses. 
it's going to be really windy here tonight, so I'm worried about the, the wind blowing the tripods over. Right, so that's browning off nicely. I'll just let that, uh, I'll let that simmer and then I'll get the vegetables in. So we've got the chicken nicely browned off there. I'm just doing these veggies now. Onions, mushrooms, green pepper, red pepper, yellow pepper. Just roughly chopped. I just give them a, just let them, uh, uh, what's it called a bit? What's it called? The saute them. Saute them. They got a bit of salt on <laughs> 15 pounds that salt. <laughs> <laughs> I've had, I've had it for about five years, so I mean, I've got my money's worth out of it. <laughs> yep, it's sweet and sour in. This is next. Oh, it smells lovely. Try not to catch your pan with the metal, use the wood. This is just a toss. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. And then, I don't even need all this, like. You may be a bit too much rice. Huh? Hold on a second, just mix this up. <laughs> what the hell? Oh man, that's like proper Chinese. That is real. Smells just like what you get from the takeaway there. Oh, yeah. Lovely that, like. Ah, yes. <laughs> right, so that's it. Sweet and sour stir fry chicken. It smells it smells just like what you get from the takeaway. The trick is to car caramelize your veg. Just let them catch on a little bit. Caramelize your peppers and your onion. And then you get that authentic Chinese taste. Alright, gonna have this. Some more beer, clairvoyance. That's it. Right, well, we'll just watch that lovely sunset go down. It was a really nice big disc of disc. I don't know if I'd had me Panasonic, I could have zoomed in on it and would have got a brilliant sunset there, like typical, not to worry. All right, so it's getting chilly now. The wind's not, <laughs> wind's not that bad, like. I didn't know where his team was there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're just all set up here. Oh, he's filming again when I'm filming. Yeah. I've told you about this. <laughs> I've told you about this. <laughs> it's nonsensical. Makes no sense. Just makes no sense. It's lovely, yeah, like. I'm just gonna chill out now, like. I'll just let him do the commentary. Get a bit of air. Get cool. That wind's really dropped, hasn't it? <laughs> Battery's dead. Uh, anyway, I'm drinking this zebra beer. <laughs> zebra heed. West Coast IPA. Oh, God damn ones. Only got the well him left. I don't know if I need to put another battery in like. Enjoying your camp tonight, Mark? Oh, I'm loving it. It's, it's like, it's been, it's been an uh, experience. It's always an experience, every time. And then? And then, then what? Oh, I've had enough of you. <laughs> Do this every time. Steve, you enjoying your camp with uh, Legends? Ah, it's kind of average camp, like. Yeah. Average. <laughs> Medi <laughs> mediocre. Yeah, it's quite, quite good fun. <laughs> mediocre is the word. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said on your last video, yeah, there's nobody says mediocre as good as a Jordy. Uh -huh. What do they mean Why? by that? Like, what did I say? You were too Jordy. 
<laughs> Mille urker. Mille urker. Mille urker. <laughs> anyway, enough of this frivolity. We've got beer to drink. Morning campers. Heidi hi, nothing, no, nobody. Nothing about, nobody around. Nobody see it. Don't even think it. Yeah, so we've woke up to uh, a nice frosty morning like. It's very crisp, I would say. I did a night lapse last night, but bugger it didn't work. Um, I think that uh, the plug, I put my power bank, my power bank in and that come out. So it didn't blink and work. I got three seconds of night lapse. Damn. And it looked good as well. Whoa. Devastated. It's just boiling now, I think. Coming up to the bar, kind of a coffee. And then what we'll do is Mark's having sweet and sour chicken. Seven o'clock in the morning. Doesn't make sense. Anyway. Yep, wake up to this lovely view. If you can look beyond the tent like. He pitched his tent right in front of us, can you believe it? I was raging. And at least set fire to it. And after that, I was after I was gonna slash it and then set fire to it, but I didn't. Um uh, that's it really not much to say. Oh the weather, the temperature really changed last night. It got so cold it and therefore there's a lot of condensation. This is what gets condensation. Any tent will do this. I don't care what anybody says. Oh, this has got loads of venting. Doesn't matter. When the temperature dips like that, that's what brings the condensation. I mean, look, it's even on the, it's even on the table. Condensation on the table. That's how bad it looks. So, <clears throat> yeah, that's it really. We'll just get this warm up and then mount. That's it. I've got no to say. I've actually literally got nothing to say. Right, well, we're packed up. Professionals. Take, us a, take a picture of us. A wee thumbnail. Two seconds. We, we have to go and reduce it in size and email it to us. I'll just finish this video. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Do you feel put in your place? Right. Professional campers. Professional campers. Bloody amateurs, look. Amateurs. Still packing, man. Uh, they didn't tell me they were sneakily packing. It's all about stealth. You've got to be stealthy. Is this Steve? Steve just putting a bit coming, of just putting a bit of pressure on him anyway. He's up, he's up the of the, of the right, so this is where Mark was here. Steve's wild travels was over there. Whatever he's called. Wild camping. Wild camping. And I was here. Flat grass. Lovely, um, lovely camp that. Really chilled out. The forecast was bloody gale force winds. I was reading on the MWIS weather thing and it said Great Calver, which is over there, 51 mile an hour gusts, 30 mile an hour constant wind. And it was like this all night. It just never came. So, what do you do? Weather, you can't rely on the weather. That um, forecasts. MWIS, that's the uh, mountain weather. And it's normally all right, but whew, I don't know, it was way off, way off the mark. It did get cold last night, but we're all wrapped up. So we're just gonna head off. We're gonna head off that way. Mark's away, like he's, uh, he's lining up a video shot, apparently. He's gonna film us dropping off the edge. So I'm gonna use my poles for going down. Didn't need them coming up. It's only when I go down is when my legs, my knees hurt. Coming up is fine, which is weird. And that's it. Ready to go, Steve? Let's go. Let's go. Well, that's it. Another camp done. Nice one. Just uh, we're just about a half a mile from the cars now. Heading back down. It's about a three and a half, four mile walk. Good, uh, good distance, but it's not hard. A few little steep bits to the up to the tops, but no, not really bad. It's mostly like this. Gradual. I like a gradual walk. So there's them two. Got out to say. What a night! Oh, what a night! 
Average camp. Average. <laughs> Mediocre. Really good camp. Enjoyed it. It's his last camp with us. <laughs> so that's the end. So if you like it, give a thumbs up. If you don't like it, you can shove it up your. Yeah.